Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we have this challenge on the board. We have x to the power of x plus 2 equal to x to the power of 3, the value of x here. Okay, so yeah, we have to solve for uh, at least three values of x here. Okay, so let's take a solution here. Straightforward, we're taking our solution. Okay, before I continue, if you don't subscribe, subscribe to our channel. If you see me for the first time, this is online mass TV where we'll learn mass all the time. Now we take our solution. Let's put down the question we have here x to the power of x plus r2 equal to our x to the power of 3. Now we can find the value of x by rewriting this, okay? By saying this will now be x to the power of x times x to the power of 2. But that will take us a longer way. So the best we're going to do here is simple. We want to move the quantity on the left hand side, sorry, the right hand side to the left hand side of the equation. And so this is going to give us our x to the power of x, the plus r2, the minus x to the power of 3 equals to 0. Okay, what do we do here? The base number here or alphabet here is x, and the base alphabet here is also x. So we're going to factor out x to the power of 3 here. And so if we do that, we're going to have here x to the power of 3 bracket. If we use this to divide this, so what happened? Applying the law of indices, then we're going to move this power back here or up here rather to give us a minus so this is going to give us x plus 2 minus 3 and so plus 2 minus 3 we give us minus 1 so this is going to give us our x to the power of x minus 1 there minus if we use s to the power of 3 to divide x to the power of 3 we are left with just 1 so close bracket equals to 0 Okay, yeah, we're going to apply the zero property. We say that if you have your a times b equal to zero, it is either a equal to zero or b equal to zero. And so, yeah, this is going to give us our first case scenario, which is case one. We're going to have our x to the power of three equals to zero. So, all we just have to do is to take the um, a cube root or both sides of the equation. And so, if we do that, this is going to give us x to the power of three. Yeah, the cube root of it that equals to the cube root of our zero. So this this leave the system. And the cube root of zero is same thing as zero to the power of one all over three. And zero to the power of any number, we give us what? Zero. Except i or zero itself. So yeah, we're going to give us the yeah, x is equal to zero. So this is the first value we got from this challenger. So we want to check if this will satisfy the original equation. So what we do, we put zero, oh yeah, oh yeah. So if we have zero here, so zero plus two, we give us two. Then zero to the power of two, we give us zero. Then yeah, we have zero to the power of three, we give us zero. So this solution actually satisfy the original equation. So we take our second case scenario, which is this very one here. And so we take, continue here, so we're going to have our x um, to the power of x minus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. So this is our second case, right? So let's take this case 2. Uh, case 2. All right. Now, we just have to do something here. Move this minus 1 to this side of the equation. So this is going to give us our x to the power of x minus 1 equals to 1. Good. Now, we are having 1 on the right-hand side of the equation. We just have to produce that same base alphabet we have on the left-hand side of the equation, which is x. But to think of a number, we're going to raise x2 to, to give us 1. Remember that if you have, according to the law of indices, that your a to the power of 0, this will give us what? 1, provided that your a is not equal to um, um, 0. Right? So if a is not equal to 0, then this law holds. So we can rewrite our 1 here. And so we're going to have the x to the power of x minus 1 equals to x to the power of 0. So the base alphabet are now the same, and we have equality sign here. And so what happened, we can equate the exponent. And so this is going to give us x minus our 1 is equal to 0. Yeah. So move this to this side, this is going to give us, or I can say, add 1 to both sides. So we have 0 plus 1. Okay, so this, this leave the system, we now have x is equal to 1. So this is another solution to our uh, challenge, our exponential challenge. But let us do a brief check if this will actually satisfy the original equation. If we decide to put 1 here, put 1 here, so this is going to give us our 1 plus 2 to give us 3. 
Then we have one to the power of three, we give us one, right? And again, if we put in one here, one to the power of three, we give us one. So one satisfies this equation. All right, now, but like I said, here we have to look for a three root at least from this challenge in here. So by inspection, we discover that if we decide to put minus one into this system as the value of x, we that satisfy the original equation. So let's try that out here. So we're going to have here minus one, okay? But let's write it out here. So we're going to have minus one, okay? All raised to the power of minus one plus two equals to minus one, all raised to the power of three. So what happened, we're going to have minus one, all raised to the power of positive what? One, the equal to minus one, all raised to the power of three. So minus one to the power of positive one, we give us minus one. So we have this to be minus one equal to, then what is minus one to the power of three? It means minus one times minus one times minus one. So minus one times minus one will give us plus one. The times the third minus one, that will give us minus one. So we have this to be minus one. And so this also is a solution. So we can say in all that our x, okay, they learn to our minus one, comma, zero, comma, and one itself. Yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. Let me just this. It's okay. So these uh, are the three values of x to this exponential challenge. All right, so this brings us to the end of this math class. If you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. If you have a question regarding this challenge, drop it in the comment section. I'm going to meet you up there. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for being there all the time. See you in our next class, but today keep winning. We love you. Bye for now.